boy trapped inside the body of a girl. Is this our dream? Dear Taskmaster of the day and my fellow galleries, do you know what a dream catcher does? It is a talisman which is believed to catch dreams. Apparently, the good dreams and the bad dreams get filtered and the good ones comes down into you, while the bad ones burns in the morning sunlight. There are a lot of myths woven around this story, but this is the basic idea. So I was obsessed with dream catchers and combed the whole country to find us, but couldn't. So what I did was I found the things that I needed to make one and made those. My friends loved my dream catcher so much that I turned it into a small but very successful business. It seems pretty easy to catch your dreams using the dream catchers, right? But without or without, with or without one, you should catch your dreams because no one else is going to do that for you. But in my case, the dream catchers came in real handy. My dream is all about traveling. Every time I have a trip coming up, I look at one of my dream catchers and pray for all the stars. And since that is not definitely enough enough in Sri Lanka, I'll be this perfect little girl for around a month. Because you know what? It takes four to five business weeks to convince my parents. Each and every time I ask permission for something like this, a trip or an outing, what I hear is, you're a girl. What is wrong with you? Why can't you be like other girls and stay at home? What? Only boys can travel? So here's what I did. I cut my hair short, wore baggy clothes, put on shoes, and made myself another dream catcher. This time, a blue one. Looks pretty boyish to me, right? Here's the good part. I went on six amazing trips with my friends over the years. Was it the dream catcher or the fancy haircut? You will never know. Has anyone of you thought about traveling? I'm not talking about a two-day trip to Norelia, where you stay at the Grand Cosay Hotel, eat and come home. No. By traveling, what I mean is to go on adventurous trips. The hikes, the new discoveries, the different cuisines, and the new people you meet. That is real travel. After my A-levels, the first trip I went with my friends was to Surya Kanda. I consider myself so lucky to be able to visit that place. It has got this historical significance about something happened during the 1980s riots. Other than that, most of you may have not even heard this name. So it is a small village situated across the Simharaja forest. And it has so many mountains and waterfalls. The houses are like kilometers away. And due to the lack of visitors, the place hasn't been polluted at all. It was a four-day trip, and we had one whole day for the hike. We had through the Simharaji forest. Uh, it wasn't the usual path that the travelers walked through. This was on the other side of the forest, where there wasn't even a path to walk on. Discovering new, this, new, this new part of the forest was really wonderful. There were natural waterfalls and pools we didn't feel like getting knocked off. While we were having a swim in one of the waterfalls, and I looked up, I couldn't believe my eyes by what I saw. Through the water and the tall trees, I saw the sun rays coming down in a beautiful pattern of a dream catcher. Traveling should be like this, to discover new places and enjoy them. Living on your footprints and taking nothing but memories. So, 
this is how I pursued my dream. And guess what? I don't I do not need a dream catcher or a fancy haircut anymore. In the end, all I ask you is this. Will you ever give up on your dreams because the society has categorized them into genders? Or oh, are you going to be your own dream catcher and make your dreams bigger than your fears? Over to you.